Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lily and check out my new glasses. So today I'm going to clean up my room and you can see these are my room from different angle usually I film at this area so that will be my background that one is my background and this here now is my room from a different angle so I'm going to clean up my room now in the form of I'm going to declutter my storybooks as you can see, I have many storybooks. I will show you later. Alright, so let's start. Okay, okay. Yay, yay, yay. So here are of my... That's my dog. And that's... Those are my hat. And this is my holly corner. And these are all of my storybooks. All of them are in Chinese. And these are all my comics, which I'm going to um, sort it out later and declutter some of them. And check out my giant sperm. Look how cute is that? It even got a blue ribbon, like baby blue ribbon. Look at it. It has blue eyes. Oh, I wish this one is in my body. And also, I'm going to sort out. Some of these two, these are of my fashion magazine, which I no longer read them. And these are my, um, what is that called? Um, English fiction books, here too. And these are my One Direction Corner with Harry Styles featured in it. Yay! Alright, so I'm going to start with my storybooks uh chinese storybooks first uh right here and then i'm going to go ahead with my all of my magazines and the english storybook section and then also my comics check out my cat check out my cat check out my cat meow meow Oh yeah, and also the reason why I'm going to clean up this uh, shelf right here is I'm going to move my tea set, which is here. Here's my current, here's my current tea set um, location where is this uh, beside of my feet. It's not a really good location. So I'm going to clear this up and then move my tea set over here to here with all my cups and tumbler. And here's my cat again. Look. Meow meow. Meow meow. Her name is Meow Meow. Because I'm too lazy to think of a name for her. So I named my every cat Meow Meow. Really fat. Meow, give me a kiss, 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 meow. Give me a kiss, 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 meow, meow. Mwah! <laughs> so cute. She's so cute. She's so cute. She's so cute. Mm. <laughs> Alright, let's start. Okay. So, I will start from this. My cat keep on like, intended to attack me. Meow meow. No. Oh, this is so long. I used to have this like a uh, book with like Beauty and the Beast on it <laughs> because I have this when I was I think 10 years old not sure how many years is this so I used to have this book and I keep track on the oh there's still a few books that my sister didn't return back to me alright anyway so I used to have this book that keep track on all my storybooks that I own and here are the list in it so yeah anyway I'm going to dump all of this not really dump all of this I'm going to give it to someone else that 
we will read them again. So the first raw, I need to make this really quick because this video is going to be hours long. I used to love this whole series of books. Yeah, this is all from the same publisher that I really love. And this is only the first layer, there is like second layer in here. This one, I'm going to give it to someone else. This one, I'm, go th I'm going through it like this. Since I haven't read these books in a really long time, and if I still remember the story, it means that the story is really interesting, and I will read it again and again and again. So if I can't remember a story, I will just pass it away, give it up, because the, probably, the story is probably not really um, interesting to me, maybe. But they are all good books. So this one, nope, give it away. I still remember this story, but, um, no. Oh, this one is a really good one. Okay, so keep that one. This one, I feel like I'm going to keep it because it's about, because the, uh, the main character here is working in a restaurant and it's something to do with food and I love food. So I'm going to keep it just for that, even though I kind of forget the story in here, but keep it. Oh, I love this one. I really, really love this one. This one is really amazing. It's a story about a girl going to uh, visit her grandma and her grandma is a baker. Well, as you can see, baker is something to do with food. Again, that's my favorite, but um, the story is best in like in the future so going to keep this one it's really good this one is a good book but just that I think the story is a bit sad if I'm not mistaken so pass it to someone else I forget this story but there's something to do with food you see there's like egg tart on the um, on the cover I'm just going to this one just put it in a maybe pile. I love this one. I love this book. It's the story is very enlightened. So I'm going to keep this one. Let this one go. Keep this one. Anyway, this one is funny though. I mean it's funny. But um it's just not my cup of tea, so give it away. I think I'm going to keep this one. Yeah. Not sure. Because I really love the story background, but I think this one is going to the maybe pile. I love this book. I really, really love this books. Okay, so definitely a keeper. I'm going to give this tree away. This one is a really fun book though. So I'll keep this one. And yeah, I love, love, love this one. I mean... Like, I mean, I read this book for like three to four times, so really, really love this one. Gonna keep it. And of course, I'm keeping this because it's about food and cooking. Now. Keep it. And oh yeah, I really, really love this one. So, keep it. I'm not really sure because there's like a whole series of it but I only have the first three and I don't think I'm going to buy the rest of the series so the story is kind of just stopped there and I think I'm going to give this one away so someone else who is like very interested in the story they will continue and bought the rest of the book so give it away anyway this tree here it's really good. 
the story is about like um during the Japanese occupation in Malaysia and the life there that time frame, you know. So it's really interesting going to keep this tree. And I'm going to keep this one because it's a really nice book. You see, I almost forget about it. I almost forget the book is in here. So you see how much I really need to get rid of the books because it just makes me shorten down to the books that I really like. And I will just get to read it over and over again because that's that's the way of me doing it. If I like something, I will just keep on reading it over and over again. Because this is when you know, like really, you are really liking that books. Okay. So, um, let this one go. And I really, really love this one. You know what? This story is for kids. You know, like teenage. Like this around 12 to maybe 16 years old. And this story here, I think this story came out on 2009. There is some part in this story is about gay relationship. I mean, can you believe that in 2009, there is a Chinese author written a book for teenagers about gay. I mean, it's not the whole book about gay, not really the whole entire book about gay, but there's like some part of it, there's a little gay element, just like the Beauty and the Beast, just a little part of it about gay. Really, I really respect this author right here. Yeah. Going to keep this one. And these two books which is in the maybe pile, I'm going to give this one away and keep this one. So moving to the second part, I have all of these like books for young kids, you know. It's like for 5 to 6 years old. I'm going to give it away, all of this. I owned this when I was, I think quite young, like 5 years old. I will give this away but for this because my mom give me this as a present and there's like a little message that she wrote on here for me so even though I don't really like this book but I'm going to keep it for the message just in case one day she asks about it you know okay keep this one and also, I don't really want to let anyone see the message on it, so... No. Give these two away because I don't... I won't be reading them anymore, but they are like really good books. Really, really fun to read. I'm back with my baby wipes. So, I'm going to clean this stuff up because it's... There is so many... Um dust in here and this box i will never ever getting rid of this because i really really love this book firstly the main character name is lily and it's a book about food and magic it's a really really great book i will never ever never ever Never ever getting rid of this. And oh yeah. Going to keep this one too. First of all, because it's it's really nice with very fancy like this glossy kind of cover. And look at the look at this. Isn't it so cute? The cover is just so cute. It's about a little mouse 
that lives in a castle and he is in love with a princess. But keep it. If I say, if I really, really want to choose, maybe I will keep these two and get rid of this one. But I've got rid of so many, so I think I can keep this one for just a little bit longer. I think, I think I'm going to keep this one. Because it's I I don't really remember um what the series what is the flaw of the series is like but this one is really good because it's like it's not really the same as any any of these books here both both of these stories gives a really good twist at the end so it just like twist all the whole story when you like really until the end so it's really good keep this one So this is the end of this chef, but I still have two other so So now let's go to this here. These are all my comic books collection but the space here is way too small to fit in to fit me in. I mean like I can go in like this but I can't really put the cam. Oh wait! Oh, I can put the camera in here. Not sure. Let's see. Ah. Okay, so maybe I will just show you like this. Hope you can see it. I think I'm going to only keep this one because they have like cooking in the sea, deep sea as you know about food cooking in deep sea and it's about Bermuda Triangle so keep this one
know, I'm just going through and see which one got food in it. I will keep the one with food. I think I'm just going to keep these two. This one... I think I'm going to keep it. Because first of all, it's about food. And... The other thing is... I think I'm going to have a whole collection of this. I mean, I plan to have a whole collection of this book. It's called Sun Ye Su Tang. <clears throat> and it's based on like the story that happens in a canteen that opened at midnight. I'm going to keep it for a little while. So this one is the story about um, the author going from uh, KL to England traveling from KL to England by road you know they just go from like Thailand and go to all the Asian country and then get to the European country so I'm still thinking of doing this like I want to backpack travel from Asian country to European country and this will be a really good guide I mean, there's like, um, some information in here, so, keep it, keep this one. And I think I'm going to keep this too, because it's about United Kingdom, and I've always wanted to go to UK. So there is some information about it in here, in a comic way, like for kids, but since I've already owned it, anyway, I'm just going to keep these two first. These are the Gemelia. If you are uh, in Malaysia, you will know of these two. And as you can see, this whole, the whole bunch left is all this, the same series. So, going to see them one by one. I think I'm going to only keep the one with food in it. Because I love food. So, I went through all of them. And guess what? There's a lizard egg, a crack lizard egg in here. So, a reason for me to clean up my room. Yes, because I really have a lizard. Anyway, because there is so much right here, I'm going to show you like these are those that I'm going to declutter. Of these, of these, of these, of these, all of these, like all of these. Oh, all of these. Oh, and all of these. All of these. All of these. Whew. And these are the one that I'm going to keep because they are all about food. But except for this one because this one is like their special edition where there's like a collaboration between all of the um commit commit artists in Malaysia I think. So there's like different different way of drawing here, different style of drawing in here. And it's very special, so I'll keep this one. And now, getting to the last section here, which is my most hardest decision that I will ever make. Of my Conan comics books, I have 45 of them. And I think 
I think you know what I never read them anymore the thing is with all my things going on and I have so much um English fiction that I have haven't uh, finished reading off them I think I'm just going to get rid of this get rid of this but I make sure it goes to someone that I know so that in the future I can go back to read of this and I think with all of these books I can actually open a library <laughs> alright getting rid of this Oh, oh my common books. <sighs> so now let's. I'm so now let's move on to the English section. I'm so tired. I can't even talk. Okay, so now let's move on to the English section here of my collection, and this is my tower. Please don't mind that. Okay. I have this type of magazine and comics that is without cover because I used to work in a bookstore and um, every month they got rid of the magazine that is like um, expired and they will just tear out the cover to return it and the the content, the mid of the magazine, they will just throw it away so I just pick up a few of them and keep it. I think I'm going to keep only this one because it's about how to do a scrapbook so yeah and all of my Archie's comics without cover Look what I found. Kendall and Kylie. And this is when Kylie. I almost can't recognize her. You see? This is Kylie with a fresh face. And without, and without all of those heavy makeup. And this Kendall is so young. Oh gosh. <laughs> when is this? I think this is when. 2012 that's like 2012 five years back so I'm going to get rid of 22 of them ah now go to my fiction
So at my lower section here is all one direction books because I was obsessed with One Direction and I still is obsessed with Harry Styles but not not really on the One Direction side. We'll just put this one here first because I have no room. I have no room and this video is going to be an hour long an hour long an hour long gosh so my battery is about to die i'm going to do this fast so i'm going to sort through all of this and i will let you see which one that i keep and which one that i need to get rid of yeah okay okay so i'm going to keep who I'm going to keep all of my One Direction dicks oh, One Direction dicks So I'm going to keep all of my One Direction discs which is um, One Direction CD and I'm going to keep all of my Harry Styles poster and also my One Direction magazines my One Direction magazines that is like featured on it and what I'm going to get rid of I'm going to get rid of of my One Direction, One Direction posters, and also One Direction posters. I also I used to keep their like, newspapers. You see how much I'm just obsessed with them. Get rid of this. I have no idea why I kept it in the first place. And these are the magazines that I spent thousands. I believe like. There's at least 500 ringgit that I spent on here because um, every single one of them cost almost 20 ringgit and I have so I have this many I'm not sure how much is this I have this many this many so I'm sure there's like a few hundreds I spent on here ah uh, Getting rid of all of this because I will never ever never ever never ever going back to read them again. Alright. So these are all of the books that I am going to get rid of. Oh all of these Conan's comic sorry that's my slippers. All of these Conan's comics and all of these comic books. And this stack right here, and this stack right here, and all of these those magazines. Those are my Sin Chan comics books. Those are my English um, fiction books, and all of this. Oh, and these are the books that I'm going to keep. So just here are all of my Chinese uh, books, including the comics. And these are my English one and also my One Direction collection here. So excuse me. Hi, so I think I start cleaning my room at 9 a.m. and now it's almost 3 p.m. here. So you can see of course I have to take bath and change my clothes because I'm going to heading out soon. And so that's all from my declutter series. I mean like storybook declutter things. So from here, there's one lesson that I can learn is that never ever but never ever buy things for collection. Because if you buy things for collection, you are going to buy more than you need. So you buy things, make sure you actually use it then you buy it not to complete a whole collection of it because as you can see right here i have thrown out more of my collection like my conan series so just a quick update right here remember this one is the one that i told you like my mom gave it to me and there's a little message right here so after thinking about it i'm going to get rid of this one but i'm going to tear this patch out I know it's not a really good move to like um, tearing your book but 
I just I'm sure I won't be reading this book so that is pointless for me to keep this whole book and not reading it even though my mom gave it to me as a birthday present but what makes this Wolf keeping is just this patch, so I'm just going to tear this patch out and give this whole book to some other people that is actually going to read them. And I'm tearing it out now. Yep. I'm going to just keep this one and get rid of this whole thing. And by the way, if you can hear, like it's very noisy here, it's because it's raining outside right now quite heavily so yeah <laughs> and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow all of my social media I have all of them link it down below Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter I will link all of those down below and also um, Remember to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more and that's all from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye Alright, you realize that I'm not wearing any bra Okay And this is how my chef looks like right now the first part will be storing off my ladies pet and the second one is all my uh the books that I haven't read and I need to read it soon except from this one except for this one um I just put it there because the one under is full oh let me get it the one under here is full of all my the Wimpy Kid Diary and Hunger Game and others so my chef right here has become this part I store of my stationaries and watercolor and stuff, painting stuff even though I don't really paint and here I store off my tea set, not sure if you can see it I store off my tea set right there, my Starbucks cups my Starbucks cup and my tea leaves and the one under here is just my uh, Buff and Body Works candle and yeah that's that and here this is my holy corner and with all of my um the story the storybooks the mandarin novel the chinese storybooks and here is also with a mixture of my uh, magazines and the other chinese storybooks and comics books with magazines and all of my other storybooks and the comic books and right down here I have my One Direction corner which is under the, in this uh, suitcase right here with all of my um, One Direction CDs and the other stuff One Direction stuff, Harry Styles stuff right here Whew.